Good morning everybody and welcome to yet another week, Monday starting of the week. I'll just wait for a few more minutes for the rest of you to join in and then I'll just give you a brief on the class today and the whole week. Those of you following us on our social media, you know that the 7 to 8 class in the morning, Monday to Saturday, we're looking at the aspects of backgrounds. So somebody who loves backwinds or somebody who does not love backwinds but wants to build it up. So we'll be looking into different aspects, different elements of backwinds and we're going to work our way this entire week on the backwinds. So just waiting for a few more minutes before I get started and explain a little further about not only today's class but the entire week. I can see people texting messages. Good morning, hello, hi messages. Good morning, everybody. Let's wait a little more for a few more to join in. Good morning, Sharmila. Wish you a very happy birthday, Sharmila. Let me take this platform to wish you so that the entire Anahata family also wishes you. Good morning, Meera. Good morning, Devi. Also, those who uh, joined us, you will need two blocks for today's class. Of course, if you don't have blocks, anything similar to blocks would be great. So I have the yoga blocks. In case if you don't have the yoga blocks, anything similar, just to place your hands down when you're bending forward. So, you know, it can be anything. It can be a utensil. Just be innovative, be creative and find something so that if needed, when you're bending forward, you can rest your hands on the block if your hands are not touching the floor. We just wait for another minute before I get started in explaining the class and then of course start the class as well. So it's always good if you all can join like a five minutes early so that all the briefing about the class is over, you know what to expect, you know how to go about it. So instead of just uh, joining the meeting dot at seven, if all of you can join five minutes earlier, then we can start the actual practice dot at seven. So requesting everybody from tomorrow, if possible, join five minutes to seven. So join a little earlier so that I can, or any of the instructors can finish the explanation and we can get started. Okay, just audio and uh, video check. So, video, I can see that I'm pretty visible. Audio, just give me a thumbs up in the chat and I know that the audio is also clear. Okay, so we'll get started. I'll just explain briefly about the class. As I said, not only today's class, but also uh, the rest of the week, specifically 7 to 8. And I'll also talk about what we're doing in the evenings and of course 11 to 11.30. So as I mentioned in the beginning of the class, we're looking into back builds, okay? Why back builds and what does the back build do? So in yoga, we believe that along with our physical body, we have our energetic body. So think of it that yoga is working not only on the physical body, but it's also working on the energetic body, it's also working on the emotions, it's also working on the psyche. The asana part also. So when we're doing uh, back bends, physically what is happening is we're only stretching the front of the body. So when we're stretching the front of the body, in case if we're working from home and we are drooping our shoulders, we're sitting like this, what is happening is we are curling in and we are uh, reducing the functioning of the organs or of the parts of the body in the front of the body because constantly we are contracting it, we're putting a lot of pressure. So when we do back bends, we're really opening up the front of the body. So it enhances the functioning of the organs and the 
uh, muscle group on the front of the body. In the back of the body, the spine has the property of being very flexible and also being very strong. So we are increasing that property of the spine. So yoga, as many of you, if you are new to yoga, you might be thinking yoga is only about flexibility. Yoga is also about mobility. Yoga is also about strength. And in yoga, we say strength over flexibility. So you build up strength and then the flexibility, definitely you can build up. So the back of the body, the spine gets more strong, it gets more flexible and the mobility improves. So that you know you can reach out, you can twist and turn, you can do movements without experiencing a lot of lower back pains from time to time. So this is what it is doing physically in the body, very briefly. Energetically or psychologically, mentally, emotionally, what does that will do? The natural tendency of a human being is to curl in. Okay, why do we curl in? Because our vital organs, our heart and our lungs need to be protected. We know it from time in, you know, from a long time that heart and lungs are our vital organs and they need to be protected. So whenever there's any danger, what do we do? We do this. Danger even in the mind, whenever we feel sad, whenever we feel low, we are like this. When we are energetic and happy, we are like this. So our natural tendency is to curl in to protect the lungs and the heart. And to open out the lungs and the heart to be a little more vulnerable, it needs courage. Back pins also build up courage. So definitely you need a lot of courage and confidence to do the back pins. And at the same time, it builds up more courage and confidence. As I always say in my classes, if a child has to go for a stage show and the child is very afraid, you're instilling a lot of confidence through your words, through uh, making them practice. So you're instilling a lot of confidence in that child. Make that child do back bends three to four days prior to the stage show or any performance, be it interview or anything. Make the child open up the heart and the chest to be a little more vulnerable, and you will definitely see the improvement in the performance. Yeah, so that's a little background on why we're doing the back bends. So, we're not only going to look into the flexibility of the back body, also to do a good proper back bend, your core has to be strong because if a strong core, the strong core will stabilize the body. So that when you're doing a lot of back bends, it is not going to hurt your lower back. If you do a lot of deep back bends without having a strong core, it will definitely affect whichever part you're using more. It could be the cervical spine, it could be the lumbar spine. So you build up a lot of strength in the core so that when you do the back bend, it's more organic, it is more safe. I think that really explains why one should be doing back bends. Starting from today till Saturday, we are going to work ourselves up into the back bends. Today it might not be very fancy, uh, intermediate, advanced poses, but it will really lay the foundation for what's going to come tomorrow, day after, and so on and so forth. We also have flipping the grip. So those of you who are wanting to do that since a long time, we built up a lot of shoulder flexibility so that you get the range and mobility to do flipping the grips. So a lot of postures in line. So let's get started. We just connect to the breath for a few seconds, and then we begin in line down. Those of you who just joined us, it's a backbend focused class. That doesn't mean we're only doing backbends. We'll be looking into the different other elements also. You will need a block or something similar handy so that you can place it on the floor and bend your hands on the block or on any surface which you have at home if you cannot reach the floor. Okay? So now let's get started. Sit tall. As you can see, I am sitting on the block. It gives me a natural lift in the lower back. And I find that my knee and my hip are more or less in the same line. Curl the shoulders, roll the shoulders back and down, really expand the collarbones, expand the ribs, lift your sternum up and create space in the front of the body, in the thoracic cavity, in the chest cavity, so that the lungs and the heart can function properly. So this way it's never functioning properly. So while working also, uh, be focused on the posture. So rock the shoulders back and down. Uh, one, just one more point. In case somebody is joining us for the first time today or has joined us after a long time today, Take it easy, take it slow. At any point of time, if the class gets too intense, it's not a beginner's class, but if the class gets too intense, take a break, take a step back, and then join us back again. Don't get too intimidated with whatever we are doing. You will also get there. Do as much as you can today, listen to the body, but stay put with us throughout, one hour, 15 minutes. You're not going out, you're not taking a, a bathroom break or anything. Just a little water break, so for water it's okay because it's getting humid, otherwise no breaks. Okay, let's get started. Roll the shoulders back and down, sitting up straight and tall. 
slightly direct your awareness all the way down to the base of the body. Everybody inhale. And as we exhale, you're lifting something from the base of the body. So draw something up from the base of the body and see how naturally your lower abdominal muscles get engaged. Inhale, expand the abdomen. Your belly is becoming bigger, okay? And then as you exhale, you lift something from the base of the body. In other words, you engage the pelvic floor muscles and you find your lower abdomen getting engaged as well. And the stomach is like shrinking, it is relaxing. It is, the navel is being pulled to the spine. Again, inhale, navel away from the spine. Exhale, pelvic floor muscle engagement and the navel is drawn towards the spine on its own. You are not doing that action. Inhale, the abdomen releases just by the breath. Exhale, you are engaging the pelvic floor muscles and your lower abdomen muscles engage and it's moving back towards the spine. Now do it continuously. Inhale, expand. Exhale, engage. What are we engaging? The pelvic floor muscles and the lower abdomen. Inhale, expand. Exhale, engage. Inhale, expand. Exhale, engage. Now I invite you to do it on your own three times at your own pace. So go ahead and repeat this three times on your own. Be more connected to the breath. When somebody is constantly instructing, you might not connect to your own breath. The next exhalation, keep your pelvic floor and your lower abdomen engaged and then continue to breathe naturally. So you will find that the breath comes a little more up into the thoracic cavity, into the chest area. And this is where you're breathing throughout the class. Sometimes I'm going to ask you to relax the abdomen and breathe all the way down. Otherwise, keep the pelvic floor and the lower abdomen engaged. And if you've been observant, you will notice when your lower abdomen is engaged, it gives a nice shield to the back, to the lower back specifically. Now bring your palms to your heart center. Set an intention for the practice. Maybe your own affirmations. You're not going to repeat what you were doing last week. You could repeat that or maybe something what you want to and set an intention for your practice today. And now whatever intention, whatever affirmations you have said in your mind, let's see that with one home chanting. We all inhale together. As we exhale, we chant all. Inhale. Good. Gently open your eyes, release your hands down. We'll begin lying down, so go ahead and lie down on your back and just do one check or do it with and then we'll get started. So go ahead and lie down on your back, everybody. Okay, great. So we'll begin with warm-ups. Lie down on your back. See that you're moving your tailbone towards the heel and there is not arch or compression in the lower back. Send your buttocks towards the heel. Neutralize your pelvis. See that your shoulder blades are pressing down and naturally your abdomen is being drawn down towards the spine. Draw both your knees to the chest. Wrap your arms around the knees. Maybe just turn side to side, releasing, lengthening the spine, bring your chin down to the chest. If some of you are here with the chin lifted, and no matter how much you're trying, you're not able to bring the chin down, keep a towel or a bed sheet under, and then bring the chin to the chest. And then just roll side to side, giving a nice massage to the back. And then we take a few spinal twists, so extend the hands out to the sides in line with your shoulders. Feel free to keep your palms facing up. If you can, press the palms down or even palms facing up is okay. Draw the knees really close to the body. Don't stay here. Really draw the knees close to the body and then curl on the right side, turn the head to the left. 
Inhale, center and keeping my knees together without separating them. Exhale on the left and turn the head to the right. Your opposite shoulder, in case it's the right shoulder, is down. Inhale, back to the center, knees are together. Exhale, turn them on the right. Turn the head to the opposite direction, shoulders down. Inhale, center. Exhale on the left. We'll repeat this two more times on each side. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Last time, inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Stay here a little longer. You can even support your legs with your hand. Draw the navel back to the spine. Turn your head towards the left side. The left shoulder grounded down. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale all the way to the opposite side. Do not lift the right shoulder up, right shoulder down. Draw the navel back into the spine and stay here. And feel that stretch that you're feeling and getting in the side body. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, bring your feet down. Now from here, you're going to keep the heels closer to the butt. For some of you, it will come a little more closer. Some of you, it might not. Draw the shoulder blades in very gently. Pull your abdomen in. So exhale out. It will help you to draw the abdomen in. And then as you inhale, start lifting up. Maybe not too high, just start lifting up. And as you lift up, draw your awareness to the natural contraction of the glutes and the hamstring muscle. You're going to work on the hamstring and the glutes today, feeling that strength and strengthening the hamstring and the glutes. Exhale and down. Again, inhale and come up. This is a back bend. It has the elements and properties of the back bend. And you see how the glutes and the hamstrings form up. So you need that firmness in back bends. So we're going to work a lot on the hamstring and the glutes strengthening today. And down. Good. Do this two more times. Inhale, pressing the feet onto the floor. So you're really strong on the feet. You're really pushing the floor down with the feet. Keeping the knees drawn towards each other, lifting the hips up. Notice your glute muscles, your hamstrings and your calf muscles working here. Exhale and slowly down. One last time. Inhale and slowly come up. You'll find the blood gushing into the muscles which is working. Breathe, stay, hold it a little longer. Press the feet down, knees are drawn towards each other. Do not flare the knees out. And exhale and slowly down. Now we're going to go do on something a little more active. So stay here, inhale, you're going to lift your hips up. Turn the shift weight. So shift weight into the left leg and draw the right knee into the chest. And then a few marches. So bringing it down and up. You're not lowering your hips down. Notice how much more your left leg is working. Notice the work in the glutes, in the left hamstring, in the left back muscle. Two more marches, do not lower your hips down, do not lower your pelvis down, and then slowly release the pelvis down. So if you're feeling it in the back chain of the body, especially in the hamstring, calf, and the glutes, that is exactly where you're working. Once again, setting yourself, pressing the feet down. Exhale out completely so that you can draw the navel in. Inhale, lift up. Shift weight into the right leg. So shift your weight into the right leg, lift your left foot up. And few marches here. So you're lifting and bringing it down, lifting, bringing it down without lowering the hips down, without any other movement in any other part of the body. And give me two more here. Very nice. And slowly release and relax. Some of you might immediately get cramps. It's a sign that your hamstrings are weak. It's a sure sign that your hamstrings are weak. Take breaks and then get on to me. Some of you can even stretch the legs in between if you need. One more round of the same thing. So bringing the feet closer to the butts. Keeping the hands pressing down. Exhale out completely. Inhale, pressing the feet down. Use that force of pressing the feet down to lift up. Shift your weight into the left leg and bring your right knee to the chest. Lift your right foot up. And then step your right foot down gently and up. Down. Three. Down. Four. Down, five, down, keep breathing, down, seven, down, you can do this, down, two more, nine, down, ten, down, and release. In case some of you had to come off a little earlier, it's okay, but try to stay for the entire ten counts. 
Let's do the same thing on this leg now. So inhale, using my feet to press down so that I'm energizing my leg. Shifting the weight into my right leg, I lift my left foot up knee to the chest. And then down, up, down, whole foot down. Three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, don't give up, nine, up, ten, up, and down. Nice. Drop both the knees to the chest, wrap your arms around the knees, and just release the back. Relax the hamstrings, the glute muscles. We are going to again look into it. And then from here, you can just curl up, roll up, and come on all fours. So from here, you're going to start coming onto your palms and your knees. Come on all fours. See that the shoulders and the wrists are in one line. It's a straight line. And your hips and your knees are in one line. Press the palms nice and strong. So that cup curls. Very good for the flexibility and the mobility of the spine. So inhale. Arch your back. Draw the shoulders back. Some of us keep the shoulders forward. Draw the shoulders back. Exhale, round your back. Inhale, your belly is relaxed, you are arching, shoulders drawn back. And then as you exhale, draw the navel back into the spine, round your back. Inhale, your abdomen can relax and soften. Exhale, you really engage the pelvic floor and the abdominal muscles. Inhale, you can release and relax, just arch. Exhale and round. Now do this four more times at your own pace, at your own breath. Inhale, you curl. Exhale, you round. So I'm giving you opportunity to work with your own breath rather than just on my palms. So keep doing at your own pace, at your own breath. I'm not leading you into it. I mean, I'm not guiding you anymore. So let the breath guide you. Learn to make it your own practice rather than always being guided by the instructor. Make it your own practice. And then slowly, last time, as you exhale, inhale, come back into a neutral spine. Walk the knees together, press the palms firmly on the floor. Step your right leg back. And see that I'm stepping my right leg back, my knee is not bent. I'm really stretching it straight, bringing that energy and life in my leg. Now from here, I flex my foot. Flexing the foot is toes curled in and the ankles curled in. And then I bend my leg. At no point, I'm going to push the leg out like this. I'm going to keep the leg bent. Even better, if you can, just to understand the, uh, how the muscle works here, keep something in between both parts of the legs at the back, okay, at the knee. Now from here, see, you're going to pick up like donkey kicks. One, two, three, four, five. Working on the glutes, six, seven, Eight, the block is giving me a kind of a point of reference to keep the leg hugging in towards the butts. And then from here, I curl, curl it in and kick it up. Curl it in, kick it up. Curl it in, actively keeping the toes flexed here. Exhaling, inhaling. Exhaling, inhaling. Exhaling, inhaling. Last four, exhale. Inhale, keep the leg strong. Exhale. If I don't keep the leg strong, the block will fall. So I'm really hugging the leg in towards the back of the thighs and the glutes. Last two. Last one. Really feel the butts working. And up. If you have the block or any other material, take it off. If you don't have, then right away, stretch the right leg back. Maybe bring it to the floor and then stretch it up, toes pointing down, flexed. Inhale, up pulses. One, two, three, four. Keep the butt on fire. Five, six, seven. We are strengthening the butts and the hamstrings to begin with. So that, that helps us in the back builds. Eight, nine, ten, five, four, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring this leg all the way down to the floor. Press into the palms. Lift your left knee up to the chest. Inhale, move your body back, send your left leg out and back. Exhale, curl the knee to the chest, pull the body forward. Inhale, send the leg out and back. Exhale, build the body forward, curl the knee to the chest. 
Inhale, body back, extend, three legged down dog. Exhale, fold back. One last time, inhale, and then bring the leg down, come forward into plank, and release your whole body down onto the floor. Once again, folding the right leg, flexing the foot. Notice my toe position, okay? So not like this. So flexing the foot, toes pointing down towards the floor. Again, from here, I'm going to lift up. One, two, three, four. I'm not throwing my leg back. Five, up, six, seven, eight, control movement, nine, ten, five more, five, four, three, you can do it, two, one. Now stretch the leg all the way. With straight legs, we are going to raise the right leg up, okay? So raise your right leg up and down. Two, down, three, you can relax your hands also. Four, down, five, down, six, down, seven, down, eight, down, nine, down, ten, lift up and hold. Don't focus on raising the thigh, focus on stretching the leg back, lengthening the right leg. Point the toes now and stay and hold. Five, four, don't give up, three, two, and one. Bring the leg down. Take the hands on either side, press your fingers on the floor, lift your elbows up. Maybe watch the action first. Press the front of the pelvis down. Inhale, roll the shoulders. My head is still down. I lift the chest and then I take the chin up. Exhale slowly and gently go down. Repeat this two more times. Inhale, draw the shoulder blades at the back together. Exhale and go down. One last time. Inhale, nice and strong. Hold it. Five. Four, keep pressing the front of the pelvis down. Three, feel the natural engagement in the glutes. Two, and one, and slowly down. Now this time, inhale, come up halfway. And see that you're not losing your hands. Lift the palms off the floor. Draw the shoulder blades towards each other. So really squeeze back. Squeeze the back of your body. Draw the shoulder blades. Open up the chest. Stay here for five. Four, legs are active. Three, two, one, and slowly down. Inhale, lift yourselves all the way up. Exhale back, stretch it out into your downward facing dog. Breathe and stay in your downward facing dog. Spread the fingers and press them on the floor. Now, bending the knees, turn both the heels to one side. And feel the stretch. Keep pushing the body back. And feel the stretch in the side body, in the armpit. Come back to the center and drop both the heels down. Push your body back. You can even bend your knees, but don't be forward. Push your body back. You can bend your knees. Stay and breathe. And then come back all the way to the center. Bring your body forward and down. Bring the knees down. All of this on the left side. So let's begin. As I did on the right side, you might want to keep something under the left leg. That is also okay. I'll just turn around the side so you have a better view. So from here now, the left leg. So I'm going to stretch the leg all the way back. Lift it up and fold it and see how my toes are flexed. So toes actively working and kick up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We are still doing small movements. Bigger movements will come in a while. Seventeen. Now curl it in and up. When you're curling it in, don't lose. So curl it in and back. See my foot and toes. Curl it in and up. Curl it in. Push up. Curl it in. Up with force. Curl. Up. Five more. Five. Up. Four. Up. Three. Up. Two. Up. One. And up. Now from here, stretch the leg and do pulses. One. Two, three, four, five, six glutes on fire, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, one. Step this leg down and lift your right knee to the chest. Take the whole body back, stretch and straighten the right leg. Again, bring it forward and back. Two more, forward. 
and back. Last time, forward and back. Bring this leg down, move the body forward, exhale, come all the way down onto the floor. Again, fold up the left leg, toes curled in like this. Fold it nicely. Now keep it in a straight line, not in, not out, just above the knee. The heel, the ankle, just above the knee, and kick up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and stretch the leg. Now we do straight leg lifts. Inhale, lift. You can point your toes now. Two, three, four. Keep breathing. Inhale, exhale. Lift from the hip. Seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. Five, keep it going, don't give up. Four, be strong. Three, before becoming flexible, be strong first. Two, one, and hold. Point the toes and hold. One, two, straight line. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bring the hands on either side. Lift your elbows up, same thing. Chin to the chest, draw the shoulders, press the pelvic floor in the front and lift up. Exhale and then slowly down. Inhale, press the front of the pelvic bone into the mat. Exhale down. One more time. Inhale, breathe, stay, lift. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Now we're going to work to make our arms and our upper body a little more strong. So keep your legs active. When my legs are active, see my knees are naturally lifting up. I'm not dropping the knees down. Okay? So keep the legs active. Press. See? See my buttocks? Okay? So right now the buttocks are pointing towards the back. Now I press the pelvic floor and the buttocks are pointing back towards the heel. Do that action in the pelvis. Take your hands back. Lift the head and the chest and just pulse the hands. One. You're not pulsing your whole body. Head and chest up. Legs strong. Pulse. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Take your hands to the side, we pulse in the side width. Again, pressing the front of the pelvis. If it doesn't happen, then there's a lot of blood loss, a lot of curve here. You need to reduce this. See how I'm pressing the front? So my pelvis is turning towards that side. So do that action. Lift your head and chest up and pulse. One, two, just the arms like wings. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't give up. Eleven, twelve. Don't give up. Thirteen. It's also massaging your abdominal organs. Fourteen, fifteen, and down. Now bring the hands forward. Wider than the shoulders, don't bring them too close. Wider than the shoulders, palms facing towards each other. Inhale, lift your head and chest up and do this. One, two, three, you can do it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Bring the palms all the way down. Inhale, Bhujangasana. Exhale, up and back, stretch the entire body into down dog. See how nice it feels to stretch it out? This is what the body needed. Inhale one more time, move your body forward into plank and bring the whole body down. Now interlace the fingers at the back and straighten the hands, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Inhale, lift your upper body, lift the hands above the hips, raise your legs up. Strong legs, lift up, stay, five, four, Three, two, one. Release the legs, release the palms. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale back into a downward facing dog. Good. Walk yourselves all the way back towards the feet. Keep your knees soft and bent. And slowly round your back. 
your hands hanging loosely, curl up one vertebrae at a time. Just curl up one vertebrae at a time. Nice. Inhale, roll your shoulders back and down, look forward and take a moment. Breathe. Take a moment, breathe. We start with our flow now. Good. Starting with our Surya Namaskar A. The regular normal Surya Namaskar. Those of you who don't know, also follow. Feet together, legs together. Inhale. Arms to the sides, lift it up. Look up, no back bend here. Exhale, bend forward and down. You can bend your knees if needed. Otherwise, press the palms on the floor, go down. Inhale, lift your head and chest halfway up. Arms on the floor, step the right leg back, step the left leg back. You'll do two push ups here, so bring the knees down, push the chest forward. Do not drop your abdomen. Abdomen in. One. Just two push ups. Two. Then go down halfway, see if you can hold. Inhale, lift up. Exhale back into a downward facing dog. Step the right leg forward, step the left leg forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bend forward and down. Inhale, rise up all the way. Strong legs. Exhale, Samasthiti. Two more same lines with the push ups. Inhale, take your hands up. Exhale, bend forward and down. Inhale, lift halfway up. Palms on the floor, take a long step with your right hand to left leg. Stack the shoulders above your wrists. Bring the knees down. Do not drop your abdomen and curl your chest. Fine. Stay here. Move forward. One. Push up. Two. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Inhale. Stretch legs up. Exhale back into a downward facing dog. Build up strength guys. Step forward with your right leg, with your left leg, lengthen the spine. Exhale, then forward and down. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, release. One more time, everybody. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, then forward and down. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Palms on the floor, step the legs back. You can do a full leg push up or knee down push up. So just dip. One, two, Three, you can even bring the knee down. Do the same thing. And this time, go all the way down to the floor. Now from here, you're going to inhale, keeping the legs strong, pressing the pelvis, lift up, 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 and down. Inhale, watch my hands. In cactus, up, and down. Inhale, when you come up, try to spring the shoulder blades at the back or squeeze the back muscles. Exhale, down. Inhale, press the shoulder blades, exhale down, two more, inhale, breathe, 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 exhale down, one last time everybody, inhale, up, now stretch and back, squeeze, stretch, squeeze, strong legs, stretch, squeeze, strong legs, come on, stretch, squeeze, you can do it. Stretch and squeeze and down. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, come into your upward facing dog. Exhale, go back and up into your downward facing dog. Take two breaths here. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Look forward, step or jump forward into your half forward bend. Exhale, palms pressing on the floor for forward bend. Strong legs, inhale, come all the way up, stretch and extend. Exhale, Sarasthiti. Variations coming up. So from here, you're going to start bringing the feet and the legs together and come into your Uttatasana. Move into your Uttatasana. We'll do a regular Uttatasana with the back heel lifted. Exhale, go ahead, bend forward and down. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Palms on the floor, step the right leg back, step your left leg back. Maybe Chaturanga or knees down push up. Inhale, lift up. Exhale back into a downward facing dog. Lift and raise your right leg high up to the ceiling. Point the toes. Bend the leg into the chest. Step the right leg forward. We we'll keep the back heel lifted. Inhale, find your balance. Be stable and come up. Breathe. Stay. Breathe. Good. Now from here, we are going to extend the spine forward. 
push the hips forward. So don't have the hips back. Push the hips forward, strong on the back leg, and then draw the shoulder blades towards each other. Rolling the shoulders back. Breathe here and stay. Now to come into the lunge, bend your left knee. Bend your left knee, push your body up, come up into a lunge. So you should not be here. See the curve in the back? So you should curl the tailbone under, be here. And then if it is possible, straighten the back leg. Stay here and breathe everybody. So five, four, three, two, one. Slowly bring your hands down to the floor. And then move your hips down a little bit more. Turn towards your right side. Get a nice twist here. Stay here and breathe. See my front line? Straight line. Back leg straight, hips down, twist. Come back to the center and release your left knee on the floor. If you have the regular mat, you can fold it. This one, of course, you cannot. Or you can push in your knees. Inhale, come up, stretch. Exhale, really pressing the shoulder blades. Draw the hip forward. Take your torso back. Hip forward, torso back. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, hands down. Right leg moves back into your downward facing dog. Take a vinyasa, come forward into plank. Maybe chaturanga, maybe knee down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step and lift your left leg all the way up to the ceiling. Fold the leg and step your left leg to the front. Right heel lifted, inhale, come up. Stretch and breathe. Now from here, move your hips forward. Keep your right leg straight, extend, breathe and stay. Getting more and more strength in the legs. Working on the calf, calf muscles, hamstrings of the front leg. Building up strength there. Now bend your right knee, inhale, come up. Don't be here, push back. Push back more and more. So from here, push back more and more and then straighten your right leg. Breathe and stay. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lower your hands down to the floor. Move your right leg further back, bring your hips down. Press the palms on the floor. You can also keep a block here. Little elevation will help you in the twist. Stay and breathe. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your hands down, lower the knee down. In the beginning, the hip will go on the knee, that's okay. And then from here, come up, lift your chest up. Draw the pelvis forward, take your chest back. So from here, start drawing your pelvis forward. Keep your toes tucked in, it'll give you more stability. So draw the hip forward, raise your hands, palms facing forward, take your chest away from the front thighs. Keep moving your belly also away from the front thighs. Inhale, come back to the center, exhale, hands down. Take your left leg back into down dog. Remember you always have the option to bring the knees down and rest in case if you need it. In between, others come up and stay in the down dog. Take two breaths, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Step, move your body forward and bring your whole body down onto the floor. Good. Now inhale. Once again, interlace the fingers at the back. Stretch your hands, lift it away from the buttocks. Press the front of the pelvic bone down. Lift your heart and chest up. This time your legs are on the floor. Lift up a little more higher. Breathe, stay. Five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly down. Now watch carefully. Some of you don't get this right in the class also. So watch carefully. You're going to lift the right leg up. Don't turn. Lift the right leg up, bend the left leg and place it on the right knee. Don't try to take it behind. Place the left foot on the right knee. Stay here and breathe. Breathe. Draw your abdomen in. If it's possible for some of you, extend the hands out. If it's possible for some of you, raise the hands up. Stay and breathe. Find your balance. Last eight, seven, pull your abdomen in. Six, five, four, three, two, 
and right. Slowly release the hands. Release your left leg and release your right leg. Inhale, lift yourselves up. Exhale back into down dog. Stretch your lower back. You can even bend the knees and really push your buttocks up. It really gives a good stretch in the lower back. And then maybe you can straighten the legs or you may choose to keep the knees bent. Inhale, move forward again into plank. Exhale, release yourselves down in the, on the floor. Once again, interlace the fingers at the back. Press the front of the pelvic bone into the floor. I'm repeating it again and again. Active legs, inhale, lift up. Lift up a little more than the last time. Press the shoulder blades at the back. Squeeze the back of your body. Press it, engage it. Stay here for another five, four, you can do it, three, two, and one. Exhale, come down. Now from here, you're going to lift your left leg up, point the toes, hold the right leg, and bring it at the knee. Nowhere else, just bring it at the knee. Pull your abdomen in. Stay with the palms on the floor. If it's easy, stretch your hands out. If it's doable, lift your hands up. Stay here and breathe for eight, seven, six, five. Do it less. For some of you, if it is too deep, bring the foot at the shins, not at the knee. Two and one. Slowly release. Inhale, come up into your upward facing dog. Exhale back into your downward facing dog. Again in down dog, bend the knees and really push the buttocks up and back. Stretch it out. One more breath here. Now step the right leg forward, step the left leg forward, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend forward and down. Inhale, come into your Uttadasana, strong, and come back to Samasthiti. Great. How is everybody doing? I'm sweating like a pig. Very nice. So we are going slow, and we're really working on connecting the body parts and strengthening the body parts. Take one more nice, long, deep breath in and out as you stay here and as you breathe. Good. Inhale. Once again, go down into Uttatasana, chair pose. Exhale, bend forward and down into a full forward bend. Inhale, half forward bend. Palms on the floor, set the legs back. Maybe knee up push-ups or knee down push-ups. Just a few dips. Two. Three. Four, and then go down into Chaturanga or Ashtanga. Inhale, lift up, exhale back into your downward facing dog. Stay strong and breathe, everybody. Now from here, inhale, lift and raise your right leg all the way up. Pull the leg and step it forward. Stay and breathe. Inhale, again, come into that leaning forward. And just work with your arms. One, stretch and bend. Two. Stay strong on the legs. Three, four, you got it. Five, six, two more please. Seven, eight. Now stay strong. You can bring the hands here. Inhale, pressing into the right foot. Lift your left knee all the way up. Don't worry if you're struggling with balance. Inhale, bring the leg down, bring the hand back. Exhale, lift it up. Inhale, your balance will be challenged, but take the challenge. Inhale, you'll get better and better. Exhale, leg is on the floor, extend the arms, feel the glutes working. Inhale. Exhale, you're strengthening the back of the right leg. Inhale. Exhale. Last time, inhale on the way up. Exhale, send it back. Come up into the high lunge. Exhale, hands down. Right leg back to downward facing dog. Inhale forward into plank. Your choice. Push ups here or the knees bent. Two more. One more. At the knee bend, half chaturanga, full chaturanga. Inhale lifting up. Exhale back into downward facing dog. Inhale raise your left leg all the way high up. Pull the leg, step it all the way to the front. Strong right leg. Inhale. Lean your body forward, stretch your hands. Don't dump your body down. Lift up. Bend. Stretch. Two. Stretch. Three. Stretch. Four. Stretch.
Stretch. Five. Stretch. Six. Very strong legs. Seven. So when you're taking the hands back, draw the shoulder blades in. And last time. Now from here, bring the hands back. Inhale, lift up. Exhale back. Inhale up. Exhale back. Inhale up. Exhale back. Two more. Inhale up. Sorry. Exhale back. This might happen with you also. Inhale up. Exhale back. Inhale all the way into lunge. Exhale hands down. Stay in the downward facing dog. Step in the vinyasa here. Bring the knees down onto the floor. Come on all fours. Now from here again, you're going to step the right leg back. Pull the abdominal in, so no arch. Neutralize the pelvis, raise your right leg up. Now from here, fold that right leg. Lift the knee up, don't drop the knee down. Stretch the left hand forward. Take the left hand back, reach. Don't hold the outside of the foot, inside of the foot, and push. Don't turn the chest towards the left side. Keep the chest facing the floor and keep lifting it up. Five, four, don't allow the knee to open out. Knee pointing down. Three, two, and one. Stretch the leg and the hand. Release. Same thing on the opposite side. Left leg stretches. Draw the abdomen in. Lift your left leg up. Curl the left leg, lift it up. Extend the right hand forward. Don't hold it from outside. Hold it from inside. Push the hand back with the leg. So not here. You're using the, if you did the Saturday class, you will know. So using the leg to kick the hand back. Chest is facing forward, not turning to the right side. Stay here for five, four, Three, two, and five. Release, and down. Come back into downward facing dog. Stretch your lower back. You can keep the leg bent. Breathe. Look forward, step or jump forward into your half forward bend. Exhale, full forward bend. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, release. Okay, moving on guys. It's just about building strength. You might not be enjoying the class because it's not like a continuous flow, but you're building up more and more strength. So from here now, this will require strength in the standing leg and a lot of balance. So again, inhale, lift your right knee up, stretch your hands, look at my toes pointing down. Exhale this time, do not take your leg down on the floor, but stretch it back. Inhale with control, with balance. Exhale into your warrior three. Inhale with control. Exhale. We're not giving up, guys. Two more. Inhale. You're really building strength in the left leg. Strength is the key. One more time. Inhale. And this time, prepare to fold. So take the leg back, extend it, toes pointing down, fold. Don't drop the chest. Hold it for five, four, Three, two, one. Bring the hands down. Here is where your block can come handy. So if you have the block or anything else, your hand is not touching the floor, keep the hands on the block. You can even slightly bend the standing leg. Okay, I'm just breaking it down for a moment, setting myself up again. And then inhale, raise your right leg up. Good, now watch what I do. From here, I'm going to lift the left heel. Lift the leg up. Bring the heel down, tap behind. Inhale, exhale. Feel your legs working at the back. Inhale, lift the heel, exhale, tap behind. Come on, you can do it. Inhale, exhale. One more time. Inhale, exhale, and release. Good. Bend forward and down, breathe. Inhale, come all the way up. You've got one more action there. So we're going to go back and down again. Again, inhale, come up. Exhale, bend forward and down. Hands can be on the block. Same thing, but a little difference, a little variation. Again, working really on the back chain of the 
Swirling the glutes and the legs, the hamstrings. So inhale, lift your right leg up, lift your left heel up. Bring the heel down, bend both the knees. Inhale, stretch both the legs, lift the left heel up. Bend both the knees, bringing the left heel down. Four more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. And release. And slowly come up. This should be on spiral, guys. And that is what we are looking at. Breathe. Take a moment, stand straight and tall, and then we repeat all of this on this side. I'll turn on this side so that you all can see. Keeping my blocks handy, one side can feel different from the other side. I hope everybody is there with me and not got bored and left. Please do. Okay, now from your back straight, roll your shoulders. Inhale, lift. Exhale, stretch. Inhale, lift, two, oh, and strong leg. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Keep your base fixed, drishti, focused. Inhale, it helps to balance. Exhale, engage the core, it helps to balance. Two more, inhale. Exhale, I'm keeping my toes flexed and active. It's helping me to balance. See if that works for you. Stay and breathe. Stay and breathe. Strong left leg. Hop, hop, hop. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring your hands down. Don't give up. Inhale, left leg lifts, heel lifts, and tap it down. Inhale, exhale. Four more. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Grow strong. Inhale, Exhale. This will help you in Chakrasana. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Releasing it. Resetting for a moment. Coming up. Breathe. Feel the glutes and fire. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out. One more time. Going down. Looking into the radiation here. You can always keep your hands on the block. See, it's easy for me. So inhale, left leg, sweep it up. Lift your right heel up straight. Bring it down, bend both the knees. Inhale up, exhale. Inhale up, exhale. Four more. Inhale up, don't give up. Exhale, right leg is on fire. Inhale up, strength, strength, strength. Strong, strong, strong. Inhale, come on, strong. Strong is not only core. Every other part of the body also. One more, ah. and release. Slowly come up, ah. shake it out, breathe. Almost coming to the end of the class. Nice guys. Going to work a little more on the strength. Flexibility and then strength. So watch it and then do. Something like wild thing but not completely wild thing. I'm breaking the flow because Whenever we are training for strength, it requires more energy. So I'm breaking the flow so that you can retain that energy and use it. So something like wild thing but not wild thing, watch. I'll show you, I'll do it on this side. I'm doing it on my right leg. Watch so that you can take a break till then. Breathe and then you can do with me. So I go down into my downward facing dog. I move my body forward into plank. Lifting my right leg up. Now take it, okay, sorry. So take it from down dog. So raise the right leg all the way up and then just do not lift the palm up. Just try to tap and up. Try to tap and up. So what it is doing is it's really opening up the side of the body as you will feel. So you will tap about five times and then you will not go into full wide thing. Only thing you will do is you're going to bring this leg here, shift the weight towards the wrist and just stretch, pushing the hip forward, not going into a wild thing. That will come later. Tomorrow, day after, we're going to build up on this. Okay? So with me, everybody. Come on. I hope everybody's understood. Otherwise, now, listen and follow. So inhale all the way up, everybody. Take your right leg up in down dog. 
and then take it all the way to the other side, bend the leg, try to tap the toe on the floor, and then back to the center. And two, stretching the side body as you can feel it. And three, don't lift the palm up. And up. And four. And up. Two more. And five. And up. Last time. And six. And up. Now from here, take the leg all the way to the side. Press the heel, shift your weight. Shoulder above the front wrist. Push the hip forward, stretch the hand. Stay here and breathe. One, two, so don't have the hips back. Really use the strength of the leg, the hands and the side body and lift and hold. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to the center, take your down dog or choose to bring the knees down, whatever works for you. We do the same thing on the other side. So now inhale, coming back into the down dog. Lift and raise your left leg all the way up. Hold it, tap it on the floor. And stretch. And tap. Feel the side body. And up. And tap. And up. Three more. Tap. And up. Two more. Tap. And up. Last time. Tap. And up. Now bring the foot down, place the heel on the floor, shift your weight towards the front hand. Shift your weight. Now use this to push the hip forward, stretch the hand and be here. Hold it for five, four, three, build up strength, two, and one. Come back to the center, bring the knees down, come into Vajrasana. I hope you got that. You'll be revisiting this in the days to come, so don't worry. Move into the front of the mat, come back into downward facing dog. Step the right leg forward, left leg forward. Inhale, bend in. Exhale, bend forward and down. Inhale, come all the way up, stretch your hands. Exhale, release. Last one here, last preparation. And then we are going to look into two peak pose. Natajasana, Arda, not Purna, not flipping the hand, and Dhanurasana. Okay, so set yourself in temple or goddess. Toes turn down, feet wide apart. Lower down, stretch your hands. You can turn the palms up. Now my body is not going to bounce up and down, okay? I'm just bringing in more mobility, strength and flexibility in the hips and the legs. So from goddess, I'm going to turn into warrior two. And then turn back into goddess. Then turn into warrior two on the other side. Turn back into goddess. What I'm not doing is every time I move, I'm bouncing up and down. See? My whole body. No. I'm going to stay fixed. There's a barbed wire on the top. If I go up, I'm going to hit that. So I'm going to stay fixed. Curl your table under. Draw your abdomen in. And then just turn. You can do it. And back. And turn. And back. Mobility. Flexibility and strength, working with all these three elements. Little bounce is there in my body also. I need to keep reducing that. No worry, we are still all work in progress. Woo! Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Shout it out if you have to. Breathe out to the mouth. Woo! Few more times, you can do it. Come on. Come on. Ooh. Last time. On the right side. Back. On the left side. Back. And release. Oh. Breathe. Good. Working yourself into Natrajasana. Same hand, same leg. Opposite hand and leg. Both hands and leg. Okay? So working on this, I'm turning on this side. Always you can have a strap handy. If you cannot reach the foot, some of you, just do till here. It's okay. If you cannot reach the foot, just do till here. That's also okay. So giving you modification for beginners also. So from here, pressing the left foot on the floor, grab hold of your right ankle. What tends to happen here is the knee flares out. Keep your inner thighs working. Allow the knee to go back. Lean forward, but do not drop your chest down. Don't drop the chest down. 
Lean forward, squeeze your shoulder blades at the back, stretch the hand and take this leg up as much as possible. Activate the toes, breathe and stay. Pull the knee inwards, five, four, if it's too difficult, take a ball support with your left hand. So take a ball support in case if you're struggling a lot with balance. Three, two, keep lifting the knee above the hips and one. Bring it back, change the hand. This might feel unusual. Draw the shoulder blades towards each other. Stretch, breathe and stay. One, two, three, four, five. Feet the left glutes working really strong. Now we try and balance and hold it with both the hands. Inhale, bend that leg. Grab hold with both the arms. Draw the shoulder blades towards each other. Lean forward without dropping the chest down. Inhale, start lifting the leg up higher and higher. One, two, three, four, five, and release. Whoa, feel it in the glutes. Exactly where you want it to work. On this side now, pressing the right foot on the floor, really squeezing. One week, you do things like this, we will not do the same sequence. You will definitely see the difference in your body, guys. Okay? So, pressing the right foot down, bend your left leg, grab hold of the left ankle with your left hand. Right hand forward, lean forward, but don't drop the chest down, and keep kicking the leg up. Keep kicking the leg up. Stay here strong. Five. Knees in, not out. Knees in. Three. Two. One. Come back to the center. Grab hold with the opposite hand. Try. Inhale. Maybe here you will not be able to kick up so much. Try. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Maybe take a break. Relax the activation of the right glutes. And then for the last time, holding it with both the hands. So see how I'm tucking my tailbone under. I'm not doing this. This and then I lift. It will be too much of the curve. So I'm first doing this. Tucking my tailbone under. Engaging my core muscles. With this, I hold the leg with both the hands. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Lean forward. And begin to lift the leg up. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly release and come down. Good. Check it out. Last bit of our practice. I'm just checking on the time. Wow, okay. Last bit of our practice, and then we can start to pull down. So come on the top of the mat. Inhale, stretch the hands up. Exhale, go ahead, bend forward and down. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Hands on the floor, step the legs back. Bring your whole body down onto the floor. Take two breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Stretch both your hands forward, palms facing towards each other. Your hands are wider than the shoulders. I'll move back so that you can see my hands also, sorry. So your hands wider than the shoulders. Inhale, raise your right leg and your left hand up. Exhale, down. Left leg, right hand up. And down. Inhale, up. And down. Inhale, up. And down. Continue. Inhale, up. Right hand, left leg. Exhale down, inhale, left hand, right leg, down, inhale up, down, inhale up, down, I need a that sip of water, inhale up, down, inhale up, down, two more on either side please, inhale up, down, inhale up, down, inhale up, down, 
One more, inhale up and down. Good. Now come on to your forearm, everybody. Keeping the knees parallel, fold the leg. Okay, and bring it close to the chest. Stretch the quadriceps. The knee will tend to move out. Keep the knee right behind the hip. Either you can just fold it this way. People who know, flip the grip. Turn the fingers towards the toes. Lift your elbows up. Okay, turn the fingers towards the toes. Lift the elbows up. Press into the left forearm. Chest will tend to turn to the right side. Keep the chest facing forward and down. Hold it for five. Stretch your quadriceps. Before we do the go pose. Three, two, and one. Release. Bring your right forearm in front of you. Press the pelvic floor down. Hold on to the leg, either simple way or flip the grip. Toes towards the, fingers towards the toes. Breathe and stay, elbows lifted. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly release and go all the way down. Stretch your hands, forehead on the floor for a moment. Inhale, bend and fold both your legs. If you cannot bend and fold the ankles and both the legs, do one at a time. What you can do is Ardha Dhanurasana, okay? Ardha bow pose, half bow pose. Those of you can hold both the ankles, but don't open the knees out. Keep the knees parallel to each other. We are not getting into the full pose yet. Inhale, again flex the foot, like we did with the pillow under our belly on Saturday. We are keeping the knees and the thighs down, just working on lifting the upper body. Knees and thighs are down. Exhale, slowly release. Take a moment. Now more or less we keep the upper body down, we lift the knees and the thighs. So inhale, lift your knees and thighs. Don't lift your upper body. Focus on just lifting your knees and thighs. And down, maybe release and relax for a moment. Now we combine front and back. Front and back should lift up equally. Only then it is a balanced posture. So again, grab hold of the ankles. Those of you who cannot grab hold of the ankle and both the ankles, do one at a time. Do one, hold it and then do the other. Rest of you with me, activate. So flex the foot. And then inhale, lift your head and chest. Lift your knees and thighs. Lift your head and chest with every inhalation, with every exhalation. Lift up more and more. Draw the knees in. Lift up. Breathe. Lift. Really go strong. Five, four, three, two, one. And slowly down. Release and take a breath. Good job, guys. If you want to do one last time, Pashta Dhanurasana with me. If you want to skip that, it is okay. So for Pashta Dhanurasana, you're going to hold. Again, lift up. And then just turn on one side, on your left shoulder. Pashta Dhanurasana, stay, breathe. One, two, three, four, five. Come back to the center. Lift the knees and the thighs. And then move on the opposite side and hold. One, two, three, four, five. Come back to the center. Really grow tall. Breathe, lift up. Last time, activate, 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 and release. Turn the heels towards each other. Toes are pointing to the side. Just give a little movement in the hips. Relax the lower belly, sorry, the lower back. And then slowly inhale, come up. Exhale, go back and up into a downward facing dog. You can keep the knees bent and you can really push the hips back and up to stretch that lower back. Draw the abdomen in, curl your triceps in, press the fingertips down. Then if it feels good, straighten the leg, otherwise stay with knees bent. And really stretch the lower back. 
Bring the knees all the way down to the floor. Cross your ankles and come to seated. Oh, cooling down. We did not really look into very fancy postures or advanced postures, but all of this foundation is going to help you in the classes to come. So we're looking at a couple of deep postures in the days to come, and you'll find that your body will be ready to do that. Okay, to start with now, keep your left leg down on the floor. Okay, sit up straight, try not to roll back. Be on your sit bones, stretch your left hand up, grab hold, don't leave, don't start messaging, wait. Do this, otherwise your practice will not be balanced. And then start to stretch this leg forward. This leg will tend to come inwards. Keep the heel and the hip in one line, sit up straight and tall, extend the hand to the side and breathe. Stay here, shoulders down and relaxed. Breathe, one, two, take a nice twist. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come back to the center, change sides. So your right leg is bent now. You're sitting straight, not curling down. Sit straight, grab hold of the outside of the left foot. Ensure that your leg is straight. If your hamstrings are tight, your knee can be bent, that's okay. Stretch it as much as you can, and then extend the hand all the way to the opposite side. Stay and breathe. One, Two, three, four, shoulders down and relax. Six, seven, keep breathing, do not hold the breath. Eight, nine, and ten. Look forward and then slowly release. Set yourself for Janu Sishasan. We've done a lot of back bending, you know? So we've done a lot of back bending, so we need to stretch the back of the body. So set yourself for Janu Sishasana. Inhale. Lean forward. Maybe some of us will be here. Don't go down with a rounded back. Chest forward. Some of us will just be here. Some of us will have the range and the flexibility to go further. Some of us can even wrap the palm over the foot. Exhale, go forward and down. Inhale, look forward, exhale, come up and relax. Change the side. One side can feel different from the other. I like to use a prop under my left knee. It gives me a little more support for the knee. So inhale, stretch your hands. Again, I repeat, if your back is rounding, then stay here. Don't go further. If going further, this is what is happening. Do less, must move the chest forward. Some of you who have the flexibility, start going forward and down. Wrap the leg around with your hands. Breathe and stay. Look forward. Come up, last posture before we move into Shavasana. Stretch both your legs straight. Widen the sit bones. Inhale, extend the arms, extend the spine. Exhale, again option just to stay here. You don't have to move forward if your back is rounding. Others start reaching forward. Grab hold, inhale, exhale, go down. Stay here. Still your mind, still your body. Take nice long deep breaths. Look up, inhale, stretch and extend, exhale, release. Move forward, we do a standard to slide down and then go into Shavasana. Then come up and go up to the pranayama because we really heat it up the body. To balance it out, you will need to do that in Pranaya, so don't leave, please. So just move your body forward. And there's shots, Shavasana, don't worry. 
just allow the body to release to relax. Keep your feet wide apart, almost at the ends of the mat. Stretch your hands out and bend down and drop both the knees on one side, turn the head to the opposite side. Up, you're not raising the feet or lifting the feet. Keep the feet on the floor, but just turn side to side. Hold at your own pace if you want to linger on one side a little longer. Feel free to do that. If you feel that you like to move a little faster, feel free to do that. Do once more on each side. And then come back to the center. Set yourself for Shavasana. Not very long, unfortunately. But just relax the hands, relax the legs. Do a little bit of movement, whatever your body needs, for it to be still. And just experience complete stillness. I will not talk also. So for two minutes, just be absolutely quiet and still. And really inculcate that habit to be still. Observing the breath. Now you're going to relax the abdomen completely and let the breath go all the way down into the belly. So soften the abdomen and the belly muscles. Let the belly expand and contract. Don't worry, nobody is watching you, nobody is judging you. Really get deep abdominal breathing, which is very releasing and relaxing for the nervous system. Take a long and deep breath in. Open your mouth and breathe out to the mouth. Your eyes close, bend your legs, turn over to your right side and sit up slowly. Find your comfortable seated posture and sit up with your eyes closed. Last few minutes of the session. Back straight, roll your shoulders back and down. Those of you who can fold your tongue like a spoon and stick your tongue out, do that. I am amongst that 10% of the population who cannot do this. So I will choose to just curl the tongue in with a little part of the tongue out, okay? So you can watch me. So either your tongue is rolled like a spoon and your tongue is sticking out. You're inhaling it through the mouth and when you're inhaling, spine straight, inhaling, close the mouth, Bring it down and then exhale through the nose. Maybe you can just watch one round. Those of you already know, you can start doing it. 
So what you have to do is, I cannot roll my tongue like a spoon, so I'm going to curl it in with the sides of the tongue sticking out, so that I can feel the breath on the tongue, on the surface of the tongue. Okay? Now close your mouth, bring your chin down, breathe out through the nose. And then pause before you take the second round. So don't just go one after the other. Take that necessary pauses. So maybe if you've not already started with me, inhale through the mouth. Close your mouth. Bring the chin neutral. Exhale out through the nose. And then just a little pause. Again, inhale and lift your head up through the mouth. Close your mouth. Come down. Breathe out through the nose. Pause. Now do six times on your own. The next one, make it your last one. Don't rush through it. Complete it properly, whatever you've been doing. If you're finished, just be still. Observe the cooling effect in the throat, in the passage. Take a long and deep breath in and breathe out. Good. Let's rub our palms together, give it a nice rub. Feel the heat and the warmth between the palms and gently bring it over your eyes. And it's still in the comments. Thank you so much. I would like to end the class by saying Lokaha, Samastaha, Sukhina, Bhavanti. Each one of us, may we all be happy and may we all be joyous. Thank you so much. Do join the Nish 11 to 11.30 if you really want a good, uh, intense half an hour workout. Evenings, we are exploring the five elements, okay? Evenings, we are exploring the five elements. Our body is made up of Panchabhuta, five elements. And they say, according to the five element theory, if there's any imbalance in any of the elements, then we get disease, then we feel unhealthy, either in the body or the mind. 
So each day we'll be looking into one element and then we are going to make that element strong in the body. So like earth, water, fire, air, space in that order. So that is what the evening uh, practice is. So do join if you want to. Do spread the word around and let others know and uh, let everybody be healthy and happy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So grateful for all your messages. Thank you, Vijeta. Thank you, Saman Bala. Thank you, Meera. Thank you, Meha. The fire has built up. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Pallavi. Oh, <laughs> okay. You had to miss the second half. Okay. Thank you, Renu. Thank you, Dipti. Thank you all. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you, Caroline. Thank you so much.